Sleeping Beauty. Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a king and queen who longed for a child. Their sorrow turned to joy when a little daughter was born, and the kingdom rejoiced. The news of her birth was celebrated with great pomp and festivity. The king, eager to ensure the princess's future, invited all the fairies in the land to be her godmothers. The day of the christening arrived, and the castle was adorned with splendor. The fairies, seven in number, gathered to bless the little princess with their gifts. Each fairy bestowed upon her a special talent and virtue. The youngest fairy proclaimed that the princess would be the most beautiful woman in the world. The second fairy blessed her with a temper as sweet as an angel. While the third fairy gifted her with grace in all she did or said. The fourth fairy granted her a voice that would rival that of a nightingale. The fifth fairy blessed her with the lightness and grace of a flower dancing in the wind. The sixth fairy granted her the ability to create enchanting melodies never heard before. Just as the feast seemed to be filled with joy, an unexpected guest arrived, a very old fairy who had not been invited. She had been absent for fifty years and held a grudge against the kingdom. The king, realizing his mistake, offered her a humble plate instead of the golden ones the other fairies received. The old fairy, filled with anger, uttered a dreadful curse upon the princess. She declared that when the princess turned 17, she would prick her finger on a spindle and fall into an eternal slumber. However, a wise young fairy who had overheard the curse had a plan to alter the curse's outcome. She concealed herself behind a curtain, waiting for her turn to speak. When the time came, the young fairy revealed herself and assured the grieving king and queen that the princess would not die. Instead, she would sleep for a hundred years until a prince awakened her. The fairies vanished, leaving the castle in a state of both hope and fear. The king, desperate to save his daughter, ordered all spindles in the kingdom to be burned. But destiny had a different plan. Years passed, and the princess grew into a beautiful young woman. One fateful day, while exploring the castle, she stumbled upon a hidden room at the top of a tower. There, an old woman spun thread on a spindle. Curious, the princess asked the old woman about her task and expressed her desire to learn. Unaware of the king's command, the princess took hold of the spindle and pricked her finger. Overwhelmed by sudden drowsiness, the princess fell to the ground and the old woman called for help. Despite their efforts, no one could wake her from the deep slumber. News of the princess's fate reached the wise young fairy and she hurried to the castle. Knowing the princess would be frightened upon awakening, the fairy cast a spell on the entire palace, freezing everyone in time, every servant, every guest, even the animals. The king and queen, grief-stricken, decided to leave the castle untouched, shrouding it with an enchanted forest to keep it hidden from the world. A hundred years passed, and the story of the sleeping princess faded into legend. The kingdom underwent changes, and a new royal family reigned. But fate had other plans in store. One day, while on a hunting expedition, the son of the reigning king came across the hidden towers rising above the thick forest. Intrigued, he sought answers to this mystery. An old peasant informed the prince of the beautiful princess sleeping within the castle, a princess destined to be awakened by a king's son after a hundred years of slumber. Determined to discover the truth, the prince pushed through the dense forest. To his amazement, the branches parted for him, allowing him access while closing behind him, preventing anyone from following. Inside the palace, the prince discovered a chamber adorned with gold. Where the most enchanting sight awaited him, a sleeping princess. He knelt beside her and, with a gentle kiss, broke the curse. The princess opened her eyes, looking at the prince with wonder and recognition. 
they realized they were destined for each other, and their hearts became intertwined. At as the enchantment lifted, everyone in the palace awoke, resuming their activities as if time had stood still. A subheading. The prince and the princess, accompanied by their newfound companions, made their way to the grand hall for a joyous celebration. The prince and princess were wed the following day, uniting their kingdoms in love and happiness. They ruled together, their tale forever etched in the annals of history, a timeless story of true love prevailing over the darkest of curses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.